notes in your brochure or in your planning it's about shop.gmail.com <laughs> no actually that's not true just a little typo we're going to talk about the shop of jubilant.org um, however this is a real screenshot from <laughs> shop.jubilant.com so it exists and we're going to try and convince the owner of this page to link forward to shop.jumon.org. But uh, we'll see. So, um, we had a uh, merchandise shop for Juma since the beginning. It was run by Spreadshirt, unfortunately. Um, we had some really outdated designs on that. Um, the quality wasn't that good for the price that was charged. And we had an issue with global shipping um, as well as payments, but especially the shipping costs was really, really high. If you bought a t-shirt of $27 and you lived in India, for example, you had to pay an extra $30 for the shipping. So, a bit too expensive. So it was time to change. And when we started thinking about changing, these were, oh, I hope you're a little bit rude. These were actually our challenges. The challenges were the pricing of the goods, the quality of the goods, the shipping, and we would like to have an in house system. So, the pricing good price for everybody. Like, well, we don't use geolocalization to raise or lower the price, nor cookies. So. Um, a good price for everyone, meaning that the quality is good as well, and that quality doesn't pay for, for pricing or vice versa. And of course, there is a little margin in there, in each product, in each sale uh, towards OSM. To get a good pricing was actually pretty difficult because we had to start with no investment. We had to search for a solution that we could deliver within a certain time frame or that we are going to deliver within a certain time frame with a good price. If does anybody print t-shirts regularly or does it sometimes? Okay. So what's the, the break even or what's the break point of getting a good price on t-shirts? Normally, if you go for screen printing, it's about 50 pieces. We have about at this point nine ten designs. So Let's go for one size, one color of the t-shirt on one design. It's already 500 t-shirts. If you add the different sizes, which are six, seven sizes, multiplied by seven. Different colors of the t-shirts multiplied by, let's say we give five options for colors, multiplied by five. That's a lot of stock and certainly a big, big budget. So we had to find somebody who was willing to print on demand, but with a good quality. So it's not going to be screen print, it's going to be transfer, but the latest technology of transfer. So it's, it will be good quality. And actually I'm already at this point. So the good quality is, I think, together with, with Brian when he visited me in Belgium as well, we went and visited uh, three different suppliers. I visited, in total, I visited over six or seven suppliers. All quality testing. Um, and <clears throat> trying to get the price as low as possible. So we had to do some, because, excuse me, we had to give in to some points towards the suppliers, um, which is, Normally, when people order something, you just pick it from your stock, box it, ship it. We can't. Uh, we can't order directly as well. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to combine all the orders from one or two weeks into one order, then push it to the supplier, combine another one or two weeks, um, push it again in an order. By the time we push the second order, the first order will arrive, um, and then we can start boxing and, and shipping it. Um, we have had talks with suppliers all over Europe. Um, I have a whole lot of samples of my place. They're all been tested. They're all been put in the washing machine, twisted around, stretched. <clears throat> I would say I would put them in the mud as well, but that's not what I did. Um, but after a while, only three suppliers were still good in quality. Um, and so that's why right now we have about four suppliers in four different countries of Europe. We have a supplier in Belgium, we have a supplier in the Netherlands, we're going to have a supplier in Germany and we're going to have a supplier in the UK. Um, all of them will come back to Belgium where the shipping will be done. So, worldwide shipping at the lowest price possible. <laughs> That's still an ongoing discussion with some shippers. Um, right now we have a postal service who have given us really good pricing. Unfortunately, not for all countries. Most countries within Europe, most countries, uh, well, towards the US um, and towards the beginning of Asia, we have really good pricing. If we're going to ship to islands and stuff like that, the prices are on top. They're, they're going through the roof. Um, so we're still negotiating on that. Um, we're also negotiating with UPS, DHL, and some others. Um, because UPS, for example, within Europe and within the States has access points where you can just select your access point, nearest uh, access point, and they'll drop the package there. Um, and they're going to expand that worldwide but at the moment, it's only Europe and uh, US. And there will be extra possibilities as well later, but that will be shown in the roadmap. So, what do I mean with an in-house system? One of the powers of Juma is our extendability. And what we used to do with Spreadshirt is we had a separate install run on Joomla. And if you wanted to buy a product, you were linked towards Spreadshirt site. So there's just this one install for actually linking towards another site. It's like, yeah, we can do better than that. So we disabled that. And we kept the install at that point, um, and we went looking for an extension, an e-commerce extension. We contacted five of the biggest e-commerce extensions um, that were shown in the extension directory. We contacted them all five. We got reply from four. All four were asked for a demo, and three of them did actually a demo. So you're losing one each step, which was pretty easy because then we had to decide less. Um, and at the end, um, <coughs> we chosen for Hikashop, together with some input from PLT, uh, from input from the marketing team, uh, etc. cetera. Um, Hikashop, why Hikashop? Well, the guys are really active within the community as well. And they agreed on helping us out on a lot of stuff. Like if we need a custom plugin or if we need custom scripting, we can just send them an email and they'll do it. So, and of course, um, because the, the stability of the system and what they have on their roadmap, that might suit as well in, in the near future as well. So we went ahead with Hikashop, installed it, and started, well, we did some overrides, we did some layout overrides. 
Um, but next to that, all is, is core Hikashi, well, core Juma and core Hikashi. Now, the in house system, as we go further in presentation, you will see it will change a little bit, but in a good way. So, does anyone know Imagineering? No? Okay. It's a, a kind of stream within marketing that Imagineering is not just the product that you're selling or marketing one piece of clothing. It's actually creating a feeling around it creating an experience. That's what Imagineering is all about. So we're like, why not try to do that with the shop as well? And we will. We will give you an experience when you go into the shop and buy something. It started, it's starting from when you receive the box until you open it, unpack it, and even afterwards, we're going to give you an experience. The box was too big to get into my luggage, so the only thing I got into my luggage are these flyers. And each shipment will have these kind of flyers inside already. I'm going to pass them on so you can have a look at it. You can pause on the TV as well if you want to. So, first of all, just some general information. You're just too cool to be true because you bought some Joomla merchandise. There's a little text on there. Take care of your Joomla textiles. If you buy something from Joomla, you need to take care of it, as well as we need to take care of our community. So, but instead of just saying like, wash it on this temperature, etc., etc., we made a little text and played around with it. And on the back end, it's a thank you message. And there's also a call like, if you want to add new designs to the shop, here's our contact address. And then at the bottom, why not take a photo and show off with your freshly delivered Joomla item? Share your awesomeness by uploading your picture at joom.la slash show off. So what's, what's with that link? Right now, it's giving you a 404. You're not getting anywhere. Um, but it will be ready soon. Well, it's ready actually, it's just not linked. Um, what are we going to do? We're go going to create a showcase of jewelers. So whenever you buy something, you can take a picture. Whether it's a t-shirt, whether it's a cap, whether it's a mug, whether it's, it's stickers. Whatever you buy, take a picture. And then if you follow that link, you'll go to a um, submission form where you can upload the picture add your name, add your email address. And it will be, after review by an administrator, it will be published on the shop. Furthermore, you sign or you take a box where you agree that we can use the picture that you submit, that we can use it actually as a product picture as well. So right now, there are generic product, product pictures, like just plain t-shirt, plain, plain mug. After a while, We'll, go, we'll be using the pictures that users uploaded to the shop. So make it more vivid. Like if, if you, let's say for example, Isidro takes a picture with his new t-shirt. After a week maybe, Isidro might be the first you see when you visit the shop. Because he bought the first t-shirt, he took a picture, submitted it, and we used that picture. <laughs> and we use that picture in the shop. So it's not only about selling the products, it's also getting recognition from within the community. 
So people, if, when they submit pictures and we submit it to, to the shop, people will actually recognize friends from within the community. It's like, oh cool, look, he's having that t-shirt. Next to that, there's a lot of extra, but I'll come to that as well as soon as we go further in the in-house system. So, designs. Elisa did a lot of designs based on the brand mark, based on the Juma logo. We pushed out a call like I think four or five weeks ago, if it's not even earlier. Uh, we got some submissions, some were good, some were somewhat good. Uh, <laughs> Um, but we're still looking for designs. We're still looking for for creative minds. Where it's like, hey, look, this would be really great um, to have on the merchandise. Whether it's a cap, whether it's a mug, whether it's a T-shirt, whether it's a hoodie, or whether it's all four of them uh, within the same design. Yesterday, during Make It Happen, um, there were also I think two people working on designs. We, we got them in, they're looking great. Um, I know one is Alexander, but the other, you have to help me with his name. Shemek. Shemek? Shemek. Shemek, okay, thank you. Uh, Shemek was the other one. Um, and both great designs. So <clears throat> within a couple of days, they will be added to uh, the shop as well, probably. Now, as I said earlier, we were going for an in-house system using Joomla with one extension. However, <coughs> we do have a lot of domains and installations within the community. About 56, I'm guessing. 56? Domains? Installs. Only 50? No, it's more? <laughs> or was it 65? No, I had too many. <laughs> it's a long list, anyhow. It's a long list. We come in the last year. Yes. We had a whole session coming. Oh, it's I can show you. I can show you the pictures from last Jane Beyond in Prague. We had this really big room. And the wall, well, what we did was we made post-its post for each domain and the sub-levels, etc. You could, you could do a 360 <laughs> and all you would see was post-its. So, we, too many domains. So, um, probably as, as you're active in, in the community, you know that there's a discussion going on on merging domains, merging installs. So that the people who are actually maintaining all those installs can actually breathe again instead of doing all the time uh, the, main, the maintenance. So we're cleaning it up. Shop.jumla.org, as of now, is no longer a separate install. It is merged into community.jumla.org. So, if you go to shop.jumla.org, you will still get directly to the shop, but instead of living on its own install, living on its own server, or uh, I would say Plesk, uh, but <laughs> living on its own hosting package, now it's living into community, the Joomla board, which actually... Sorry. How do you manage that? No, it's, it's just. You said shop that don't have the work inside the community? Yeah. Okay. It's just like a forward it's a of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not a forward, it's. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Same, same idea. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what is the, the big advantage um, of having shop into the community install? Community was using several tools like Sobe Pro, like my, my help desk, and Acumailing. And Shop was going to use Acumailing as well. 
next to that we were going to use RS forms for the submissions of the showcase. Now, so instead of having two different Aki mailing licenses, we only have one. RS forms is actually gone because, um, oh sorry, community was also using Corona forms. Um, so instead of having two different forms uh, extensions, we switch to Corona forms. The showcase, however, is now maintained by Sobe Pro. So, and why did we do that? If the original idea with RS forms was that every time somebody submitted a picture, there was an article created, and the showcase was just a, a category block, actually. But because we already have a lot of articles on community, and there will be more in the future, we don't want to spoil or um, get too many articles in, in that same list. Uh, so that's why we switched to Sobe Pro. It's a separate section within Sobe, and it's easy to maintain by the administrators. Just review the picture, review the name, review email address, check and submit it or enable it. Next to that, help desk. How is that going to help us? It's going to help us a lot better because it's not only for shop, it's not only for the jugs that also live on community, it's not only for events that also will be on community. It's actually, we're going to open it up a little bit. We're going to open up community and the help desk of community towards each possible solution that we can think of with the help desk. So you get a problem with one of the shipments or the quality wasn't good or shipment got lost, for example, you submit a ticket into the help desk and it will be routed directly towards the people that actually take care of the after sales, if we, if we want to call it that way. Um, so that took a lot away from our email conversation as well that we are otherwise going to have. So now it's, you just ping it to the correct person uh, immediately instead of somebody having to look at the emails forwarded to another, etc, uh, etc. Et of course, OSM has some benefits out of it. Um, they did with Spreadshirt, they did with uh, the 10 years t-shirts or uh, hoodies that we did. And they're going to do it with the shop as well. So for each item that got sold, there's going to be a commission for OSM. Um, the commission probably won't be as high as they had with Spreadshirt, which was about $6 uh, per item. It's going to be two to three euros, depending on the item. But the good thing is they have absolutely no investment. Which created also a bit of difficulty in the beginning, because if you have to change your way of thinking of running the shop. As, as I said before, it's not just order picking you have to do, it's on-demand printing, um, on-demand ordering, and, and you have to set some rules for that. So it's all in, in the frequently asked questions um, within the shop. Um, why and how we're going to do it. The shop is never finished. It's a roadmap that will go on for a long, long, long time. So as I said earlier, Hika Shop agreed uh, with us in the beginning to custom script some things for us. One of the things is actually a dropship plugin. Why a dropship plugin? We're going to deliver to Juma Days and Jux. Because the shop is now living on the community domain that also has the events and the Jux database on it, we're going to create a plugin which will be able to get all the data from the jugs, all the data from the events, 
and actually make a dropship plane. So let's say you're going to Joomla Day, Minnesota. Mike, when is it? July 16? Yeah. Okay. So let's say this plugin gets activated and you're saying like, oh look, I'm going to Joomla Day, Minnesota. Instead of paying the full shipment cost to your house, you just say deliver it to Joomla Day, Minnesota. We'll of course have a closure date, let's say two weeks or one week before the actual event is happening so that we can pack and ship. Um, but the idea is that a big box, so we, we combine all orders towards Joomla Day Minnesota, we put it in one big box, we ship it to Joomla Day Minnesota, each order is packed separately, uh, either in a bag or in a box, and labeled. And at that point, Mike is getting a big box at his place or at the venue of Joomla Day Minnesota. He opens up and people can just pick up their orders. Jugs as well. Mostly they have uh, monthly meetings. So we just say like, well, let's say you got a jug of about 15 people. Each one of them wants to order one or two items. Instead of shipping them all separately, you can combine them into one shipment, send it to the jug. And then next jug meeting, you'll have like <laughs> a little Christmas at the jug. You can unpack your presents. <coughs> so, Dropshipping is one of the things that's coming. We're actually working on, on the briefing and the projects right now. And Nicholas is going to, well, start. No, sorry, other Nicholas. Nicholas from Hikashop. <laughs> His name is Nicolas. Nicolas. It's, excuse me. <laughs> no, it's true. In, in French, we say Nicolas. <laughs> that's true, sorry. Um, so he's, he's going to work on that uh, pretty soon. And I'm really looking forward to this one because I think within the community, this is a really good idea. Um, we'll see. Other things that we're going to do is actions. Like give some volunteers either a 100% discount coupon or just send some of the items towards volunteers. Um, of course, this requires some budget. So partly I required a marketing budget to do so. But on the other hand, all the profit that is made by the shop, um, minus the commission to Horizon, will be invested again either in the shop or in the community. So. The idea is that after a while, if <coughs> it, all's, it all goes well, that we have some reserve and either we, we do something with the shop like worldwide 50% discount or worldwide 50% discount on shipping, we'll, we'll have to think about that. Or we say like, okay, look, there's a gym day coming up. Why not sponsor that Joomla Day or sponsor the smaller Joomla Days who are struggling with sponsorships? So there, there'll be a lot, but of course, before we can do something like this, we have to get some revenue and we have to spare up some budget. <coughs> now, the big question when is that launch? To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> no. Um, if the shop was a separate install, we could launch. With the merge, there are some things we have to take into account. Community.jumla.org is ready. It's, Rowan has done an amazing job with it. Really great. She merged community.jumla.org. She merged jugs into it, events into it, and the shop. She's done an amazing job. However, the reason we cannot launch yet is this: it still needs a bit of cleaning, but then content-wise and showcase. 
showcase.juma.org. That's why we can't launch it. Right now, showcase, you get community.joomla.org slash showcase.html or showcase sites.html, I can't recall, which is an old Mustard Tree installation. So, as long as that's alive, we can't override with the new 3.6, uh, 3.5 version. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and so, the showcase needs to go somewhere else. Sablot is building um, a new showcase website. It's looking good. I had a preview yesterday. It's really looking good. They're really close on um, finalizing it. So as soon as showcase is launched, community can launch, and the shop will be launched as well. So that's the downside of the merging. <coughs> we have to take into account some more domains than, than we actually had in the beginning. But on the other hand, if you look at the possibilities, because of the merging, it's going to be huge. Because community will suck up eventually more domains towards community. All the users from either jugs, either events, either shop, either some, some other domains which now have all separate logins. Yeah. We can do better than a CMS. So at that point, all users will have one single login for all the different domains they got merged into community. Next to that, we'll have a set of communication tools to actually reach out to our community. Right now, all the data is scattered across all the different domains, and you gotta go to a lot of trouble to get the data from one domain to actually reach out to those volunteers or to the people that signed into that domain. So, that, those are the big advantages, at least from a marketing point of view. Um, but, yeah, date as soon as possible. I'm, I'm pushing Seblot really hard to finish Showcase as soon as possible. I know I don't have to push Rowan because it's finished. Um, and the shop, well, just some little tweaks, add some new designs we had yesterday, and it's ready to go. So, thank you, but of course I'm not going to leave you without anything. So, if my Firefox works with me, that was actually the shop.joomla.com. Nice. But this is actually what the new shop looked like. I'm just going to, to scroll through real quickly. Um, so these are the oh yeah, some new ones, new designs are added already. Uh, so you see we get a, a mix of caps, we get a mix of, of hoodies, stickers, uh, mugs, t-shirts. Um, <coughs> And if we go here, don't look at the picture, please. I'm not, I'm not responsible for the picture that shows up at the showcase just in a minute. Um, <laughs> Rowan did me a favor. As you can see, by the front of my computer, it's taken a while ago. Okay? <laughs> so if you go to submit your picture, um, you upload the file, you give a caption to it, uh, you give your name, your email address. Those are the terms I mentioned before. I agree that my picture will be published on the Joomla showcase on shop.joomla.org and that the picture might be used for promotional purposes. Promotional purposes purely on shop.joomla.org itself or in a banner system to actually promote the shop. So that's all. And then of course, yeah, I'm not a robot. Uh, contacts and, and the fuck. Um, but let's go into under the sun cotton cap. What we did as well, um, and big thanks to, to Brian Timmer for that as well. We've not just written try product descriptions. We try to play a little bit. We don't own a baseball, basketball or football team, but we do have our own gym like that. Now you don't need to worry about pulling your hair out, cover it up with Joomla cap. 
free added bonus, it keeps the sun out of your eyes. So we played a little bit with, with the descriptions of each product. And as you'll see further and further and more, more designs get added, more descriptions. We'll, we'll play around a lot with, uh, with all those things. So one of the things as well, you can actually switch in between different options. You got, I don't know whether this product is, is all completely set. Yep, it is. So I just chosen the black logo color on the cap. And instead of beige, I want cardinal red. There you go. Add it to the card and it's, you'll have it within a couple of weeks, <coughs> two weeks or three weeks maybe, depending on the shipping. Um, so that will be done for all products. You have several options for color prints. You have several options for the colors of, of the t-shirts or the hoodies or the caps itself. The only thing that you have no options with except for the logo color is the mug at this point. Because it's, it's uh, sublima sublimation uh, printing on the mugs and that only goes on white mugs. So no colored mugs, too bad. Maybe if we have enough budget, because we can have other marks as well, but then we have to order them by 90 or 100 pieces, and that requires some budget as well. Is that the price? Sorry? Is that the price for the cap? It's not the final price. Oh. The final price is ready in my CSV template. <laughs> what kind of payment options do we have? Sorry? What kind of payment options? The payment options are, at this point, are PayPal and Stripe. If you want to have another payment option, send me a request, ping me. Sorry? Well, not everywhere, because I had a discussion with um, Karim. Are you here? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Karim! Hi! Hi! <laughs> no, I had a discussion with Karim earlier. Um, in his country, it's really difficult to do payments with uh, PayPal and even Stripe. You have, you, you need some... I don't, I don't agree, sorry. In Algeria, it's, I, it has been a little bit more easier right now to do payment on the international uh, market. Mm -hmm. So you can pay easily with PayPal when you have a account, uh, account PayPal with the an example, I give you an example, AGB Bank, you have an account in Euros, so you can refill your credit card and have a uh, PayPal account, so you can yeah. pay an okay. order. But do. you already have to do two extra steps, which normal people don't have to do. You have to refill your credit card. Yeah. I you you I have you have to do a prepayment to watch your credit card <coughs> to actually yeah, yeah. use it online. But because I, I so, don't have any yeah. money to go for a higher credit yeah. card. Okay. Well, they are available in Nigeria right now. Yeah, but for ex for example, in Europe and probably in the States as well, you can put your PayPal account to deduct your bank account directly. Yeah, yeah. So you have absolutely no fuss with credit cards. No fuss with the bank, except for the first setup. I don't use the credit card directly. Yeah. My credit card is inside my, my PayPal account. Yeah. I all do my pay payments. Yeah. When I order something from the UK, mm -hmm. I can give you an example, for example, for Raspberry Pi. Yeah. I did the order one, so one month ago, and the shipments were, was only three pounds. So between the UK and Nigeria. Yeah. It was pretty easy to get. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, but if Yeah. Uh, I think we should be better. It's calling with each other, but not pas pour tout le monde. C'est une élite qui peut avoir cette carte. Okay. Et ce n'est pas tout le monde. C'est pas comme uh. en Europe où tout, uh. tout le monde a automatiquement ça. D'accord. Je, je vais je vais le tra traduire. Il faut acheter. Il faut soit tu sois un chef d'entreprise, soit un étudiant qui a les moyens de parce que tu payes. Uh, D'accord. So what what Karim actually said it's um, the credit cards are not available for everybody. Um, they're available for, for only some people. 
um, or at least some part of, of the people. Um, you have to have some ID or at least uh, requirements to get one of them. But I suggest we, we don't go into that um, discussion too much. If you do have a question about payments or shipment um, possibilities, feel free to contact me at any time uh, or do it by when the shop is launched um, so we can help you out. There was another question. Uh, yeah, just three quick comment questions. Yes. Uh, one for the payment options, uh, yeah. will it let people know? Like in the States, I'm used to write the payment problems on the head of me, which is more financially advantageous for the project. Mm -hmm. They assume the rates are over there. A little bit. Zero forty five percent. Yeah, so but a little bit adds up, so I'm putting it that way. Is it possible that a plug in so we can round up the shipping to the nearest euro so it's an even number? Oh no, there there will be there will be multi currency activity. Mm -hmm. uh, and it will be linked towards the bank. Yeah, but after shipping you're not gonna have an even round number, you're gonna have like point something, right? Yeah. Oh, you, you mean one is up? Yeah, a lot of stories give you the option like round of charity. Um, good idea, thank you. Um, and then the last uh, same email, um, the largest uh, magic supplier um, has this API, I know the owner, where when you order shipped, they actually link it to the card, and they, they do a video of your order being packed, and then it gets emailed and tweeted to the person. They get thousands and thousands and thousands of social shares, but it's kind of cool because you can see your physical order Could you, could you could you give me an example of that? Just if you if you ask such a tweet or something, just send it to me so I can have a look at it. Yeah, or I've, already, already, I've already emailed it here. Awesome, thank you. Any any other questions? Yes. Sir. It would be something to have, be useful to have something like PayPal because I don't think everyone, myself, I, I don't really like entering my back details and add them to a website, so I'm saying something like PayPal would be yeah, but, but it's 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 PayPal and Stripe. Oh, okay. So you, we're not collecting any critical or financial information. Okay. So if somebody decides or thinks that he can have a lot of credit card numbers from within the shop, first of all, he has to pass admin tools, um, and second of all, he's not getting any financial information out of the shop. Anything else? No? Okay. Thank you.